Good morning. Paul Georgie from Allendale. It's June 22nd, Wednesday morning. Well, we've got the Greece confidence vote out of the way now. They voted in favor of the existing government, 155 to 143. And now the big uh, job begins, where in the next two weeks they've got to implement the uh, new austerity plan that uh, the EU and IMF has put together for them, which is uh, probably a bigger challenge than the uh, the confidence vote. And I, we're seeing some reaction from that already this morning with the uh, grain markets down uh, as much as uh, 10 to 15 cents in corn and wheat, uh, beans anywhere from 5 to 8 lower here as we uh, as we speak. But the, uh, and we're seeing pressure around the commodity uh, circles here this morning. It looks like a risk off type day again. Uh, there's been comments by uh, uh, hedge fund managers that uh, there's no way that they can save Greece from defaulting. So that kind of attitude is circulating and I think is, uh, is pressure in the market. We've also got another. Uh, a negative, as we're talking about negatives here this morning, we've got a huge open interest yet in the July contracts. Uh, we've seen sharp breaks yesterday uh, in July futures versus the deferred, especially in corn, uh, July versus SEP, July versus DEES. And as this morning, the, the uh, CME uh, gave us their preliminary open interest changes down only 20,000 contracts in the July contract of uh, corn. They've got about 290,000 open interest yet as we go into the first notice day and option expiration late this week and then first notice day uh, middle of next week. So some work to be done there and uh, we expect that we could see some further pressure here in the nearby contracts because of this uh, option uh, liquidation. We do uh, a bright spot in the uh, grain side of things is the demand side. We are seeing uh, in the wheat market especially that has been hit extremely hard trading at the uh, low end of six month, eight month trading ranges. Uh, we're seeing some demand step up there uh, for exports around the world which is uh, and should provide some support. We're also uh, seeing and uh, being talked about anyway, we haven't seen any results yet on this uh, idea that China bought 1.5 million tons of corn. That had been circulating yesterday and uh, providing the support. The USDA gives us their export numbers uh, at 8 o'clock in the morning, so uh, we'll watch for that here this morning uh, to see if there's been any announcement uh, as far as corn actually being sold to uh, to China. The uh, uh, soybean market has been uh, a quiet market. It, we haven't had much to talk about there, but yet uh, the soybean market continues to grind higher and uh, hold together very well on any kind of sell-offs. Some of the, the points that I think we have to watch there is the planted acres. Uh, we're also seeing wheat harvest be delayed. Talking to several producers yesterday about their wheat. Normally uh, the 20th of June, many of them are done down in southern Illinois. Uh, right now they have uh, just, they're just getting started. Uh, Yields uh, reports anywhere from 35 to 70 bushel an acre, which is quite a bit less than what uh, is normal. So uh, we'll, we'll have to listen for uh, more of that as uh, wheat harvest in southern Illinois gets into full swing. But the problem that uh, arises from a late wheat harvest is that we don't get the soybeans planted as early as uh, we'd like as far as the double crop soybeans. That is... Uh, going to be extremely important to uh, soybean numbers and something to watch for on the uh, harvested and planted acre, acreage uh, numbers coming out next week. In the uh, livestock trade, uh, no deliveries yet in the June contract. Cutout values were up sharply yesterday in beef. Choice up 148, select up 207. We expect cash markets to trade higher this week and uh, packer margins are improving as this uh, dressed beef prices move higher so uh, 
we would expect to, to see them be a little more aggressive in uh, in buying cattle again this week. In the pork complex, cutout values there changed slightly yesterday, uh, down just a, a bit. We do have uh, hogs and pigs report on Friday afternoon at 2 o'clock. Uh, we've seen the, the product markets firm up here uh, in the last few days. Uh, export business is one reason, I believe. Another reason is fill-in buying for uh, Fourth of July holiday. That's coming up here, and retailers are trying to make sure they got enough uh, meat in the uh, coolers for that uh, the featuring during that period of time. And I also think the uh, hot weather in in many of the uh, much of the Midwest here has slowed down some growth movement of hogs and uh, that has helped support uh, hog prices as well. Technically very oversold markets uh, be careful about buying strength in these markets here today. If you got any questions don't hesitate to give us a call here at Allendale at 800-262-7538. We wish you a very successful trading day. We'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Thank you.